Hello class, this is Mrs. Murray, and we're going to talk about using the magic triangle for three variable equations. We use a lot of three variable equations in physics. Um, a couple of examples are Newton's second law, F equals MA, okay, and if we take that equation, what we do is we take the variable by itself, it's on one side, and I put it in this top triangle, and then we put the m times the a in the bottom. Okay, and how it works is if you take one of these variables, such as f, and cover it, then f is equal to m times a. So that's how we know we get the ma there. And another example is if we cover m, which means we're looking for m, that gives us f divided by a, f over a. And if we cover a, which means we're looking for a, that gives us f divided by m. And so that's how this triangle works. We'll do one real quick, another example. Use our Ohm's law. So anyway, we'll just label this Newton's second. And this is Ohm's law, which we use when we're talking about electrical circuits. And it is V, voltage, equals I current times R resistance, and we put the V up there, and the I there, and the R there, so we get V equals I times R. We also get I equals V over R, and R equals V divided by I. And you can use this with the wave equation. You can use this with the equation um, that involves speed, distance, and time. And there are several other, you can use this with the momentum equation. There are several other equations in physics you can use this with. So it's really useful um, if you can't remember all three equations or can't derive the equations. Okay, thank you.